Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You're welcome back to the Taiji Baby Face Show. I'm about to introduce a big guest. You know by now that uh, I have a passion for counseling, mentoring, and instructing young people through the lens of entertainment. I keep telling you that, and I'm sent primarily to those of the house of entertainment. It follows, therefore, that my guests have to somehow align in that direction. It's not just entertainment guests, but I'm heavy in that area all of a sudden. And you know that when it comes to entertainers, uh, they rarely do they come bigger than the gentleman I'm about to introduce. Uh, I can't say nice things to his face when he comes. It, 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 it literally kills me to pay him compliments. I, 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 I don't like to eat. It takes something out of me to pay him compliments. So let me front load all the compliments before he comes here. Uh, this guy was my hero, he's still my hero. I wanted to be like him despite the physical dissimilarities. There were some things I was never going to aspire to. You know, I was just never going to get what he had physically. In that area, God blessed him abundantly, blessed me too, but his own was a bit more than my own. Uh, this guy's been my hero, as I've said, for many, many, many years. He, he literally needs no introduction, but I have to. Please put your hands together for the man I call Pops. Mr. Richard Mofeda Mijo. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. How you could all fine like this? How? At, at, at how old? Tell them how old you are this year. I'm 55. 55? <laughs> how now? And it's unfair. You told me that time when you started to get fat. You said to me that my time had come. That shit you see me now, I'm out of shape. Your time don't come. That was our agreement. How are you reneging on the agreement now? Why are you struggling with me? Uh, well, you know, you know how it is when you are driven by the spirit of excellence, like you are. No, it's not like me. No, it's like me. I'm not good. <laughs> you have to do everything in that spirit, and it is in keeping with that spirit that I decided to, you know, tune the body to the point where at least it can carry me through the remaining part of my journey. You know, you, because where I'm going is shorter now than where I'm coming from. <laughs> <laughs> But, but this your, is, is it that you pretend, this your lack of death, this your lack of fear of death is amazing to me. It's, it's like you pretend, this is the one man who I know who travels a lot. And I asked him one day, because I, I get a bit fearful as a Yoruba man, when I'm flying, especially as sometimes when you're in those planes, you know, people say all sorts of things. I was sometimes sitting beside some people, I mentioned on the show, some little children who were singing in the plane, and they were singing, soon and very soon, we are going to, you know, so I, I, I get fearful. But you don't seem to, you've told me now that you don't fear when you... I, I have absolutely no fear of flying. I mean, for me, it's, uh, maybe it's the finality of it. Because if anything happens up there, it's, it's, it's over. So, you know, I make my peace. I enjoy the time there. I told you also that some of the best times of my life are when I'm flying. I read better, I write better, I think better, um, I'm more relaxed. How? So... <laughs> <laughs> So, God forbid. Oh, but you must, the, the amount of times you fly, definitely you've been in a plane once that has gone through some bad turbulence. Oh. What do you do at that time? I just laugh. Honestly, the worst I have been uh, through was we were shooting this film in Calabar, those early days of Nollywood. This was 96, no, 97 or 98. And you think it was Hacker Air. At some point in that flight, I think, uh, what do you, how do you call it, when you lose cabin pressure or something? Yeah, that's it. And I'm cabin. sure there was interference from outside or something. And the plane was, it was just going really top feet of it. And for some reason, I, I don't know where that thing came from, but I am so, so calm when I fly. And I was laughing because I took the time to now start looking at everybody. You know, people will go on in tongues. <laughs> I mean, I'll pray, I will pray, I will pray naturally, but all through that period, you know, um, 
after a while, the place stabilized. And everybody was looking at I think Shegu Arinze also was here. Oh, Shegu is here. No, let, me, let us tell you now. Shegu Arinze is, uh, we're saying to him, Shegu, we're sorry. Shegu Arinze is a baby in the plane. Ah. You, literally, you can't joke with Shegu in the plane. You can't even say anything. You can't even make a joke and say, man, what if this plane is delayed? You can't. Shegu, no, 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 start that one. No, start that one. No, I think Shegu just loves life. He doesn't, I, I, remember, I remember in that same trip in Calabar, I gave him a gun, a real gun, to yeah. fire. Uh, and I said, so all the black arrow thing are just rubbish. <laughs> you know, and, and he goes, this is how Shagun shoots real guns. <laughs> you know, but uh, he loves life. I, I love life too, but... Um, I know. Not to I... the point where you fear every day for it. I mean, it's, it's inevitable, it will come. Okay, uh, that, that deserves a round of applause. Uh, I, I was to go in another direction, but wasn't this the watch you gave me and I returned to take another one? Yes, foolish you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 actually, no, 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 actually, you made a better choice. I made it better. He gave me a wristwatch, uh, two wristwatches, he said pick one, uh, and he said I should pick one, but I didn't pick that one and I picked this one. Then I now got home and somehow I thought I had made the wrong choice. So I drove back to his house and as soon as I entered, he said, eh, hey, your eye don't clear now, have you? Uh -huh. Now take this one. So this is the one I was supposed to get. Which this makes is a me... cheaper watch than the one you got. Uh, but this one looks more television. We can still swap. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just say Only him. Words? Only him gets away with the things he gets away with. I just Only say... him can walk into my house and take a watch that I cannot name the price here and, and just walk away. Thank you. Son... <laughs> Sonship. Sonship things. Look, I, I, Ali Baba used to do it to me, but now Ali Baba has enough. In fact, I'm the one planning to go to his house and be taken now. Ah, yes, yes. And I will do it to him. Because all this is uh, plenty of money coming. You understand. Uh -huh. uh, it's a fort taste. It's a, uh, yes, so it's a fort, exactly. <laughs> that, then you'll be buying me diamonds, just like the ones David o wears. Oh. <laughs> you'll be buying me the ones with you know those kind but, of stuff. But you have this thing for wristwatches that people don't know. That that's like one of your guilty. You told me it was one of your expensive guilty pleasures that you. Lagos do. State is always very peculiar now about taxes and all that. Okay, so I mean, so <laughs> let's, so, let's, so, let's, so that was in the that was in the past. I mean, besides that, was, that, <laughs> that was in the past. In the past. <laughs> <laughs> We, we spend our money judiciously. And I live in Delta anyway. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, at some point, you were supposed to start paying me money. It was on this weight loss thing. Yes. I lost count of the amount of people who called me wanting to know if you were sick. And in the beginning, I kept telling them that there was nothing wrong with you because I knew you weren't sick. But it got so much that I called you one day, if you remember. And I said, Pops, is, is there something you're not telling me? Are you really sick? You know, and you said, no, 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 no. I, I mean, what, what happened? So, so imagine how my wife felt. To the point where my mother-in-law will ask some some close family members will not call her and say, "Look, you don't hide disease, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Disease but, not be what it is. You know, I mean, I had close friends that knew what I was doing. I mean, I was working every day. I will jog. I will do a minimum of like seven laps around the football field. They were seeing me doing it, but they will still call me in their private time and say, "You know." If it is diabetes, you know there is a cure. <laughs> if it is AIDS, there are guys these days. <laughs> Who called? Yeah. If it is AIDS? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was that ridiculous. Uh, you remember there was a time a, a photograph went viral. Yes. Of me, a bad picture of me. And there were people who called me and said they were praying for me in their churches. So I said... Well, yeah, I told you now, a pastor called me. A pastor who is my friend called me. And he apologized in the beginning. He said, you know, I don't like to interfere. You know my kind of person. That was the day I called you. Because for that guy to have called me, because he's a cool guy, but for that guy to have called me and say, it's about your father. Is, is everything okay? It was at that point that I thought maybe you were lying. Uh, so, 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 so now, that same crowd, they say, have found the elixir for youth. You know? It, it's so... It's so <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Now, here's, the, here's my takeaway for that whole period. When you're on a journey, when you are on a journey, when you really know what the, where, where you are going, where you are headed, you don't let all the noise, all the distraction distract you from where you're going. Mm. Because, mm. you know. That's why I wrote a book. It's wisdom such as this. <laughs> now, 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 let me flip the coin for you, just in case you don't know where this young man is going. You know, we have 
a thing. That's why he's my son. And I fear, just like he fears for me, I fear for him. Now here's a young man who can take like a year off. And I'm saying, are you okay? Is everything? Say, Dad, I'm thinking. I'm working something. I'm cooking something. You know, so I've learned to also respect when people like that say, look, I'm doing something that when it is the fullness of time, you will see it. And I'm sure you will appreciate it. I see, I see snippets of it now. I, and you can multiply that with everybody in this crowd and everybody else who is on a journey. Whether it's a spiritual journey, whether it's a journey for financial gains or whatever, it takes time. You know, that's why a woman will have a baby in her womb for nine months for everything to work together. So I was on a journey and it was too early for people to see the fruits of the journey and they were afraid and they, they were... And they were concerned. So most of it was genuine, and some of them were just, yeah, he got what he deserved. I'm sure it's all those women, you know. So uh, I'm glad today that, um, I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm glad today that the fruit of it is. <laughs> the, I'm bad the entire time. Yes. While you've been speaking, looking at them, I've just been smiling at you. Just, just smiling, because these are things about him you may not know. The man is deep. Deep, uh, a whole lot of things we talk about. He's deep, and I think that deserves a better round of applause. That is, look, the, the first time we did this on the first time we did this on Facial in 2010, uh, it was supposed to be a 15 minute interview, and we spoke and spoke and spoke, and it was the entire show. So when you were coming, I said, No, this time I was going to be disciplined. Please uh, see, be dis see, that, that is telling me. Let's so be we're, we're, we're about to start doing this again. This, this we always do every time. No, let's but let's be disciplined. We're not, we're not going it's to. It's a do show. It. Tell you, baby, show. Yeah, we're not going to. We're, show. We're, yeah. we're, we're going to be disciplined. Yeah, uh, yes. Look, so I'm not going to digress. I wanted to digress for your sakes, but I'm not going to digress. Let me digress a bit. I keep asking you. Yeah, let me just a bit. Oh, uh, uh, director, please just a bit. Because I asked you, and this is important for, 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 for success. I asked him, I said, why is it that after all this time, after all this time, I, I, I was a young boy in primary school, you were my hero. I entered secondary school, you were my hero. I was in the University of Lagos, you were my hero. You even came to study law in Unilag, you were my hero. You went into politics, you left entertainment for a while. You remained my hero because I knew you personally. You've left and you've come back and you're still on top. You are about the most bankable star in Africa. How? <laughs> that, that's just what I want to know. How is that? Okay, let's, let's lay the foundation, okay. you know, since you digressed a bit. But let me just say this very, very clearly so that from day one, there is no, from get go, there is no mistaking. Yeah. It's God's grace, period. Yes? <laughs> period. Um, I don't do anything better than anybody else. I prepare like everybody else. I mean, if you give me a role to do, I'll prepare. I read like you know. I... I'm, I'm voracious. I will do everything, I try and exercise and all of that. But when it comes to it, when it comes to the real secret of success, it's God's grace. Period. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to stand here and start to take credit for what I don't, I don't have credit for. Um, I don't do it on my own. I, I've said somewhere before that each time I have a task, a major task to do. I don't know where the Holy Spirit is for most people, but he's on my left. Oh. <laughs> I'm, giving you, I'm giving you spiritual, spiritual secrets. He's on my left. So I, I usually start like, you know, let's go. <laughs> you know. As you say it out like that. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I, 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 I used to do what I call my, my small magic prayers. I don't know if it occurs to anybody here, but sometimes when you are in a jam and it just hits you that, oh, you didn't settle it with your father. I do that small quiet prayer, Father, forgive me, I beg, no beg, sorry. <laughs> let's just go, you know? And, and it works for me. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything inside of me that is different from anybody else. But I do know I love God. Mm. My, 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 <laughs> I love David. Because I've, I'm very flawed as a, as a human being. I'm very flawed. I, 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 I will let you down. I will let anybody down because I'm human. But once I, once I find that connection with God, if I'm, if, I, if I'm doing something and I've settled it with God, 
I don't see anything else. Nothing else can stop me. <laughs> and and, and that's, that's what starts, sets me apart from everybody else, you know, in my work. Uh, I will not run away from the fact that, like I said, that I will prepare because I went to school. My parents invested in me to study, so I studied. I studied very hard. <laughs> but if you study and you have all the degrees and all that, you can't do it on your own. So. Uh, I'll say it again, I don't know if I did it in 2010, but I'll say it again. I envision, for me, the way it works, apart from the left-hand thing, I envision that there is like a real huge thub of butter on my head. Yeah, you did. That's God's grace on my head. Yeah. And it's just melting down gradually. Gradually. And it, it, it will never finish melting. <laughs> <laughs> great, 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 great. You can do better. It deserves more than that. Okay. Uh, Actually, the thing is, I was about to say that you said it in 2010, but I wasn't sure whether you said it on the show or you told it to me at several, I can't, I can't remember. All right, we've, we've digressed, we've gone beyond our time. He's supposed to be leaving right now, but we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, we'll come back. Yeah.